Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry, Wet Dreams Try Twice. In the last episode we found Swingle's file from his room, and then went to ask Puppy about the cave, the cavern of cosmic cognition. And according, and according to her, or according to the legend rather, the cave is somewhere in the Kafuku Island, but she doesn't know exactly where it is. But first, we need the four keystones the Founding Fathers had before we can go to the cave. Poppy turns out to be a descendant of the Founding Fathers, so she has one of the keystones, but she won't give it to us unless we give her something else to remember her ancestors by, like a signet ring. Then we explored the hotel again and see what has changed, met some new people, and then we found our way here, deeper in the jungle, and we met her. Was it Nora? Uh, I, th I think her name was Nora, but anyway, she's a biologist and a mountain climber. And one of the keystones is, is supposed to be somewhere on the volcano, so we could use her help to get there. But her sister has the climbing gear, so we need to get that for her first. So let's see if we can do it in this episode. And with that, without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game here. So I think that we are pretty much done in this area. I think I have checked everything and clicked everything that I can, I, that I can interact with. Actually, no, actually, I don't think I have. I, I don't think I did anything with this generator. An electric generator with a socket for appliances. Mm hmm I have to connect something to it that needs electricity. Do I have anything that needs electricity? Doesn't look like it, no. Hmm, okay. So let's keep the generator in mind. Anything else here? No. Oh, there's uh, pliers. We're gonna borrow that, thank you. Okay, looks like a simple pair of pliers. And those are the orchids. Those are poisonous, so let's not touch that. Okay, let's leave to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, to the toilet we go. Over here. Hmm. And then where to from here? Oh, another orchid. Is that poisonous too? Yes, it is. Yeah. Sorry, La Larry. Not very good start. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, and in the last episode, I think I also tried to uh, go here, because it was here. Uh, according to Shawnee, there is a, there's, a, there's an island over here, a headquarters of some sort of a company. I don't recall exactly what it was about exactly. But there's an island here, and I tried to go there, but <laughs> but, but apparently when I clicked that, Lar Larry seemed to think that, hmm, maybe I should swim there instead of using our raft. So maybe we can actually go there when we are on our own raft. So let's try that at, at, at some point. But now, um, she, uh, Nora didn't tell us where her sister is exactly, did she? Well, let's talk to her again. Okay, so, uh, there's supposed there's suppose a dead Marky here somewhere. Did you see one? Well, might as well ask if, he ha if she has seen any bodies. There's supposed to be a dead Marquis here somewhere. Did you see one? No, I'm only interested in pod geckos. In what? The archipelago is home to many rare species, but one is truly unique, and it can only survive on the edges of a volcano. The long-tailed pod gecko. If only I could observe one. Unfortunately, some of my climbing equipment is missing. Ah, my yeah, sister we know. Dora must have taken it by mistake. Yeah, okay. So, where is your sister? Where can I find your sister, then? Oh, I have no idea where the hell she is now. She usually doesn't know herself. She's always totally overbooked. She said something about looking for a certain plant. What was it called again? Hmm. Something with V. Yeah, vagina. Vagina. Right. What? Really? Vagina dentata. Nice name for a plant. I'm not a plant person myself. It's an orchid that only grows in one place in the archipelago. It's extremely rare and has been growing here for centuries. But, like I said, I don't know anything about that stuff. Larry, there's a passage in Swingle's file that mentions that plant. Oh, what's there? 
Apparently, the Marquis was looking for this plant because it's believed to have sexual magical powers. Mm -hmm. If the Marquis was there, maybe there's a clue to the keystone. Do you know any more precisely where it is? The location is in the jungle on Gafuku Island. Oh, okay. And I have detailed directions on how to get there. We have to go to a very specific clearing. Then let's get a move on. And when you get there, bring my climbing gear, will you please? Okay, Give so my love to Dora. Yeah, okay. So it's on Kafuku Island. After run. Okay. I was thinking that maybe it's somewhere on this island, but apparently not. Okay, so let's go back to our raft. Our dear beloved raft. Hello. The raft still better be here, young lady. Oh yes, it is. Okay, good. Fucking Dutchman. It's let's go. It's already perfectly built. Yeah, yeah, but I'm proud of my raft. Well, that's well, good for you, but... Well, I guess we use this. So... Hmm, I, don't, I don't actually know which one of these is Kafuku Island. That's the... Cannibals Island, is it? I... Don't know exactly. Just an ordinary locker. Uh, okay. So... Let's see. The Cavern, an audience with fate. Cockburn's Keystone. Cockburn's keystone is not in his grave, it's in the hotel foyer. I need to get hold of it. Oh yeah, that's the one that Bobby has. Bobby would swap another uh, keepsake, keepsake from Reggiebold Cockburn for the keystone. Gobbledick's keystone. No one knows where Lady Gobbledick's grave is. The only clue is an incomplete diary entry from Reggiebold Reggie Cockburn. I have to find more clues. Muffington's keystone. Uh, Shawnee knows the coordinates of the island where Muffington's ship may have sunk. Okay, so that's why the island interested us. It is at minus twenty and three. I need to get over there, but first I need to make the I need to make the front and back of the raft impact resistant. Okay, that too. Connor's keystone. Nora needs her climbing gear. Yeah, okay. So we need to get to Kafuku Island. And do we do we have anything that that I can use on the raft here? I don't think so, no. Oh wait, maybe. Inflatable crocodile, maybe. There we go. The crocodile provides perfect protection for one side of my raft. Hmm. And then this one, no doubt. Good idea, but that won't work. Can't we just uh, blow some air, uh, air into this thing? He doesn't have a lot of breath. Yeah. Or maybe we need maybe we we need some sort of a pump. The generator won't help us with that, I don't think. Mm, yeah, no, it shouldn't help us. Or maybe black fetish shoot. Hmm. He's too limp to act as a shock absorber. Yeah, I thought so. So we need to get some air into this thing. Okay, so. Okay, so can we... Which one was the one with the cannibals? I think it's this one, but I could be wrong. Let's go there. Larry, Swingle had also collected some interesting information about this island. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, I am curious. Gofuku Island holds traces of a lost civilization. Swingle mm -hmm. suspected that this cavern of cosmic cognition is located here somewhere. Good to know. However, this is also the island with all the death traps left behind by an ancient civilization. Oh! Well, damn. Okay, so this is the Gofuku Island. Great. So what do we have here? Uh, large, large stone heads. Luminous mushroom. Don't eat it, Larry. Maybe you can even eat it. And maybe you'll start to glow from within. I wouldn't mind. Hmm. Okay, so we so we got that. Luminous mushroom. I wonder if I'd glow if I ate that. I mean, if I'm still alive. Okay. And what is that stone slab? It's got weird symbols on it. Okay, I can't see any symbols on it though. And uh, another orchid. Let's not touch any orchids from now on. And wait, is this the cave behind this waterfall? Can we even go there? Actually, yes, we can. 
Oh, hey. But we can't get away from here. I know. I feel the same way you do, in case you haven't noticed. But we can't just play LARP anyway. And <laughs> how are we supposed to do that without a Game Master? We just make it up ourselves? Have you ever made anything up yourself? Uh, no. But being a Game Master can't be that hard. You also said making a computer game wasn't hard. Hey, and nobody told me you need an engine for that. <laughs> and it was the publisher's fault anyway. We didn't have one. But they would have screwed everything up if we had found one. Whatever. We need a Game Master. And Game Masters don't just fall from the heavens. Besides, can't even enter the ruins. We could play right here. No, there's not enough atmosphere. You know what? I've had enough. Yeah, we're out of here. Hmm. Hey, what are you two doing here? Are you selling pie phones in the jungle now? And do they make you wear those clothes? Oh, damn, Finley. It's that weirdo from New Lost Wages. Don't move, Kyle. Maybe he won't notice us. I'm already talking to you. Damn, it didn't work. Ah, oh, yeah, those those two guys are from the uh, prune build uh, building back at back in uh, the new Lost of Ages from the last game. So it seems like they are LARPing here. In other words, live action role playing uh, aliens. I take it. Is this supposed to be about Star Trek? What are you doing here on the island? Have you seen a book of bad jokes around here somewhere? Oh yeah, we need to get a joke book for the comedian at the hotel too. So, what are you doing here on this island? What are you doing here on the island? We came here for the Galactic Festival. Ah, oh, I it's knew it. It's supposed to be a one-of-a-kind event. Galactic creatures, lots of action and music. They promised that nothing would be impossible. And women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loads of stars were supposed to be here. They weren't. Total flop. No stars. We almost drowned. And then there was the storm. All a total waste. But we found a few like-minded people here and we thought, huh, let's do a LARP. Okay, I know my way ar around LARPs. I have no idea what a LARP is. Yeah, I I'm sure that he doesn't know. I have no idea what a LARP is. A live action role-playing game. Mm -hmm. We slip into the roles of characters with whom we can identify. Or who are completely different from ourselves. <laughs> And then Stop doing that. we immerse ourselves completely in a world of fantasy for a while. Doesn't sound half bad. But it all depends on the quality of the Game Master. They lead us through the fantasy world, and if they can't do that... Unfortunately, we don't have one at the moment. Okay, how does that LARP thing uh, uh, of yours work? Have you seen a book of bad jokes? How come there aren't any women in your LARP? Okay, so how is it working for you? How does that LARP thing of yours work? We experience the wildest adventures in a world of fantasy. Each of us slips into a role, and the Game Master tells us what we experience. That's it? It's harder than it sounds. A Game Master has to know exactly what they're doing. Otherwise, it gets really boring. Okay, I could be your Game Master. Hey, I could be your Game Master! Who? You? You don't look the type. You have no idea just how much imagination I really have. <laughs> uh, you just have to have enough for each of us here. Of course. But we also want to play in a location that's just perfect for us. What do you have in mind? Uh, we want to be heroes and tackle deadly traps. Mm -hmm. The more dangerous, the better. You know anywhere like that? Well, there must be a place like that on this island. Have to find a perfect place for the LARP, LARP first, okay? I have to find the perfect location for the LARP first. Well, let us know when you find it. Okay. Hmm. So, have, have you seen a joke book? Have you seen a book of bad jokes around here anywhere? Joe, we took one of those from the festival. A role-playing book went missing there. It uh -huh. sucks. Can I have it? Sure. We threw it away. Threw it away where? Somewhere out there, outside the cave. Okay. All right. So we get the so we get the joke book. Go go back to the comedian at the hotel. Give him the joke book, and he gives us the uh, role playing game uh, book. Okay. 
How come there aren't any women in your LARP? They're not interested? How come there aren't any women in your LARP? They're just not interested in that sort of thing. None of them wanted us to save them. Or <laughs> we would have chained them up so nicely. They mm -hmm. wouldn't even have had to say anything. Just sit there and look pretty. Like that was too much to ask. Now, we have to leave it all to our imaginations. Oh, <laughs> I had to handle it that way myself when I was young. <laughs> I'm 29. <laughs> okay. I thought so. What? But hey, have to get going. I have to get going. Okay, what else do we have here? These strange symbols? I can't change those. They look pretty old. Okay, so they, these were not made by any of these people here. Device. An ancient device. But there seems to be pieces missing. Mm-hmm. Another stone slab. A bigger one. Okay. Okay, let's try to put this on here first. Okay. The stone disc fits on there perfectly. And what about this one? The stone disc fits on there perfectly. Okay, but now the question is, do we need another one? Can we do anything with this device? I can't operate it the way it is. Something's missing. Okay. Ah, there's a, a beam of light going there to that socket. The socket's secure now. The light shines here, on this exact spot on the pedestal. Okay, we need something for that. Uh, I don't know, the mushroom? That's fine. Okay, no. Hmm, we come back for this later. But then there's also this uh, stoner uh, Native American, Smokey. I remember Smokey from New Lost Wages. Me too. He's got that penetrating look. And he still has that tinfoil hat on. Hey, Smokey Bear, you're here too. Larry Laffer, Richard. This is the man I was telling you about, who opened my eyes to the great truth. Oh, it's an honor. I hope I too may experience an awakening like that. Okay, is he supposedly a cosplay in a Klingon? I don't watch Star Trek, but I, I know about Klingons. What have you been up to, Smokey? Who calls the kid Red Shirt? Uh, what's supposed to happen in this LARP? I could be a Game Master. Well, let's start on the top. What have you been up to, Smokey? Not so loud. They have microphones everywhere. If I'm not careful, they'll track me down again. Oh, right. I had to leave new lost wages in a hurry because they picked up my scent. They were mm -hmm. everywhere. The man on the bus who kept looking at me, the ticket machine was watching me, and then there was this cat. It was in league with them. I then went to Louisiana for a conference on the secret world conspiracy. That's where I learned so many more hidden truths. 111! That's where I also <laughs> received a flyer for a galactic festival here on this island. There were supposed to be lectures about the aliens who landed here a long time ago and founded a high culture. Supposedly, they hid their profound knowledge about mankind here. A place where you can discover the final insight into yourself. Okay. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's exactly what they want you to think. Anyway, the festival was a disaster. I don't know who organized it, but nothing worked. But at least I met these other folks who are organizing a LARP. Don't tell them. But I think they actually believe it's just a game. And <laughs> that's when it's the path to true self-discovery. Okay. So, uh, who calls their kid Red Shirt? Who calls their kid Red Shirt? We didn't want to bother to think one up first, and then have him drop dead anyway. What? That's what those two guys over there said. I have no idea what they meant either. But I'm an important member of the crew. We agreed on that. I don't understand any of this, but those two seem to know what they're talking about. My real name is Captain Dickhart. <laughs> Whatever. Dickhart. Anyway, we're here for a LARP. Good for you. What's supposed to happen in this LARP? I want to find traces of an ancient civilization. They could be behind the current conspiracy. And 
I expect an interstellar adventure. Alien races with whom we can live in peace. A real step forward for mankind. Wisdom and peace. Earlier, you said something about wanting to kick some alien ass. Um, for purely dramaturgical reasons, of course. Besides, I'd really like to experience a fist fight against a lizard man, where he shreds my shirt and everyone sees my muscles. Lizard man? <laughs> where? I never should have thrown my old tinfoil hat in the trash. This new one is crap. Of course, it can't be a first contact, because that would require following a different directive. Where are the lizard men? Easy, Smokey, easy. I haven't seen any. Yeah, that calm down. That means that they're well hidden. But without a game master, nothing's gonna happen. Those two bozos over there know exactly how this should work. Okay. And, well, I could be a game master. I could be your game master. You think this is something for you? Oh, let him give it a try. As long as I can fight Lizard Man. But we also need the perfect setting. Did you find something? Working on that. I have to find the perfect location for the LARP first. We'll wait here. Yeah, you do that. See you later. Okay, and then lastly, this guy, uh, William. Hi, I'm Larry. Larry Laffer. And you look like... A time traveler. A brain surgeon. A skier. Now, uh, let's say time traveler. A time traveler. What? What on earth gave you that idea? I'm a janitor. Now, that oh. would have been my next guess. I'm Will Comply. Um, interesting name you have there. <laughs> Will you Comply. Can my parents for that. What were their names? Reese and Eve. Reese and Eve's. Uh, Reese Comply and Eve's Comply. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so, what do you do as a janitor? So, what do you do as a janitor? Uh, you know, cleaning services. Do you work at a school or something? No. Way, I'm a freelance janitor. If the dirt gets bad and you just don't know, who you gonna call? You? <laughs> you know it. Will Comply gets everything clean. I can yell at school children, tenants, or employers too if that's what the client wants. Costs extra though. <laughs> okay, what a service. So how did you end up here? How'd you end up here? I was looking for a new professional challenge. So this galactic festival came along at the perfect time. So I thought, hey, why not apply in the corresponding costume? So I made this one myself, got the job, and... Well, I'm sure you saw how that turned out. Now I don't know how to get back to new lost wages, and somehow I ended up with these guys. They told me that they needed more players for their LARP. I've never done anything like that before. But I'm flexible. Well, good for you. And in this LARP, you are what? And in this LARP, you are what? An intergalactic janitor, of course. Ah, Isn't of course. Isn't that a little unimaginative? Isn't a LARP about slipping into completely different roles? But why should I completely abandon my innate abilities? Besides, a mop is a weapon not to be underestimated. It's kind of like the Swiss Army knife of cleaning equipment. I have been to a lot of places. But it wasn't until I arrived on this island that I truly understood the word special. <laughs> what? Don't listen to her. She has a problem with men like us who have extraordinary gifts. Hmm. As Game Master, I can offer you a great story. As Game Master, I can offer you a great story. Really? Can I clean up in there too? Really? The best would be if it takes place in a filthy dump where I have to make a heroic effort to clean up. Is there anywhere like that around here? Well, I'm, I'm sure we can find a place like that with full of traps and stuff. I have to find the perfect location for the LARP first. Good, then let me know. Alright. Over and out. Over and out. So, anything that we can pick up here? Hmm, fruit rings. There's a parrot on the package. I have absolutely no idea why it would like fruit rings, but... Let's uh, pick it up. The entire package. Especially good with milk. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, then I'm, I thought I, I thought those were sticks of dynamite, but uh, apparently they are just candles. Okay. Candles always come in handy. Okay. Anything special about them? Candles ready for use. No, it is just candles. There's a parrot on the box. Parrot on the box. So that might be important detail. And that looked like a battery of some sort, but I can't pick it up apparently. And yeah, we are pretty much done here. Oh, what's that? Uh, a permanent marker. Black felt tip pen. Well, pick it up. 
How useful! Alright. Well, uh, let's leave the cave. So nice to see some familiar faces again from the last game. Can we... Dense jungle, so we can go there apparently as well. But let's check on the, the other side here first. Hmm. Now this looks... Wow. Why aren't the guys uh, gathered, gathered around here before this very cool looking old uh, Inca, Aztec uh, looking architecture? So, upper symbol slab, middle and lower symbol slab. Okay, a lever. Ruins passage. That's way into the ancient ruins. So I assume that we have to open this and then and then and then take the loppers uh, over there to the ruins. And there is three yellow looking diamonds or crystals or whatever. But they don't seem to interest us that much. But this on the other hand. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, okay. Mm-hmm, okay. Different symbols. <laughs> that looks like a Pokeball. Oh, hey, those are the same symbols from the cave. Mm, so many symbols. Like at least ten symbols or so. Okay, well, uh, let's go here back, back here real quick. So it, so they had, so these are the same symbols, but they don't seem to be in any specific order or anything. Maybe we have to do something with this device first. So I don't have anything that can help us here with this device. I don't think, and maybe I don't know, plastic cup. That won't help. Do I need something that reflects the light back to the uh, into the wall here with the symbols? Better not. I can't operate it the way it is. Something's missing. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, let's assume that we don't have the item that we need for that. So let's just continue our way and go to this dense jungle. Ah, here's the path the Marquis described. Mm hmm Oh. Oh, hey, there she is. Uh, there's Dora. And another generator, seems like. Uh, climbing equipment. Okay, so that so we need to get that to Nora. And there's the big vagina dentata. Okay, well, let's talk to her first. Hey, would you be Dora? Who wants to know? I do. I mean, who are you? Larry. Larry Laffer. And how does that help me? I don't know. You asked. I give up. <laughs> don't worry. You get used to him. Okay, so your sister says hi. Your sister says to say hi. Uh, thanks. Did she fall off something again? No, but she's preparing to climb the volcano. I sure hope that doesn't turn into a train wreck. Well, have you seen a gold stat ha have you seen a gold stone or a dead marquee uh, lying around here somewhere? What are you doing here? Well, let's start from the top. Have you seen a gold stone or a dead marquee lying around here anywhere? No, I probably would have noticed both of those things. Too bad. Hmm, yeah. So, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Actually, I came here to examine the ruins. They're one of my specialities. I more or less fell into it. Into the job? No, I was on vacation in South America when I got separated from my group and fell into a pit. Landed right on top of this gold statue. Man, it hurt. Then I was constantly <laughs> on TV and everyone said I was an explorer specialized in some sort of tombs. And <laughs> since I had nothing better to do, I thought I'd just travel around and see if I could find some more. Any luck? Not so far, but that statue made me rich, so it doesn't matter. Wow, <laughs> good for you. I'm concentrating on plants now. They don't hurt as much when you fall on them. Looks like falling seems to run in your family. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to bring Nora her climbing equipment. You don't mind if we take this, do you? 
I'm supposed to bring Nora her climbing equipment. Yeah, I must have taken it by mistake. I'm such a mess sometimes. I'll take it back to her once the orchid is bloomed. Yeah, we can take it, don't worry about that. Is that the vagina tintanta? Maybe I can help you get it to blossom. Uh, how's your relationship with your sister? Well, let's ask this first. How's your relationship with your sister? We actually get along quite well, although there is a bit of rivalry. After all, we work in similar fields. I think she could be a little more relaxed. She's always looking for the next big challenge. She should stop and smell the flowers along the way. Like you! Exactly! Do you want us to help you to make this flower blossom, so to speak, if you know what I mean? Is that the vagina dentata? Maybe I can help you get it to blossom. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, it is. Don't you dare touch it. It's very sensitive and only the most empathetic and sensitive people should approach it. Otherwise, it will never bloom. And if it does, I want to be there to see it happen. Okay, I'm totally uh, em empathic. Does it bite? That would make one huge side salad. Well, does it bite? Does it bite? It's not a carnivorous orchid, don't worry. Maybe oh. I can help you to get that orchid to bloom. That would be a magical moment. But only absolute experts should be present for that. Like me. And you don't look the type. But I know a lot about flowers. <laughs> and bees. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay then. There are many different orchids in the archipelago, but they are all extremely poisonous except for one species. You can bring me one of those, can't you? Um... Of course. I'm sure you also know that all the others are deadly. Just the slightest skin contact will kill you. Yeah, we... Yeah, we noticed that. Of course I know that. Yeah, we know it now after dying two times to them. What exactly does it grow again? That non-toxic orchid is... Blue, right? That non-toxic orchid is... Blue, right? If I say yes and the blue orchid is poisonous... You would have really made a fool of me. So, is it blue? <laughs> okay, so we, we have to get her a non-poisonous orchid. Okay. See you later. Hmm? Oh, she just... She took out, took out her uh, magnifying glass. Okay. She's cute, by the way. Maybe my favorite girl so far. As far as looks go, anyway. Okay, so... Still seems a little closed up. Hands off. It's very sensitive. Yeah, yeah. Mm, roots. The orchid seems to like a lot of space. I'd better not touch the roots. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, well, we come back for you later once we get the orchid. But I'm la supposed to bring Nora mm. her climbing equipment. I'll take yeah. it back to her once the orchid is bloomed. Yeah, but... But I, I thought that we were supposed to uh, take this back to Nora. That must be Nora's climbing gear. I'm supposed to bring Nora her climbing equipment. I'll take it back to her once the orchid is bloomed. Hmm, okay, so we have to help. So we have to help her to make this uh, flower bloom first, and then she will take it back to Nora. Well, okay, that's fine. Well, there is a blue orchid here. Should we risk it? Well, fuck it. Let's do it. Ah, okay, it was poisonous. Well, crap. Our second death in one episode. We also died twice in. We also died twice last time as well. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can make it three. Okay, but uh. So we have to study and learn what orchid is not poisonous. Can we ask, uh, I don't know, Pi? Pi? Yes? Could you check the wonderful world of internet that which orchid around here is not poisonous? Uh, let's see. Does Winkle remind you of anybody? Yeah, it reminds me of that one uh, fairy, fairy NPC from Legend of, Legend of Zelda. Does Swingle remind you of anybody? No. Should he? Don't know. Okay, awkward pause. Maybe we just shouldn't talk about him. Great idea. Yeah. Okay, what was that thing with the keystone and cave again? Have you ever done a LARP? Her? 
Of course she hasn't, but might as well ask. Have you ever done a LARP? I can also speak in other voices. Ah, forget it. Hmm. Okay, uh, tell me about the captain. What do you know about Cockburn, Lady Cobbledick, Marquis? Okay, nothing. Oh, nothing. You should... Bzz, 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 bzz. That seems to be happening to you more and more. Am I right? I'm fine. Maybe I should take you to a phone store or something. Have you seen one around here? Good point. <laughs> yeah, I was about to ask the same thing. Okay, so non-poisonous orchid. Hmm. If only, if only we could. Oh wait, 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 wait. We have this information brochure. Didn't, didn't this have information about the com the local flora? An information brochure about the island. Here are some boring facts about the archipelago's history. Lots of nice photos that seem to be pretty old. And some information about the flora here. Yep. A rare, highly bioluminescent fungus, which greatly reduces the heart rate when you eat it, grows somewhere here in the archipelago. It seems the orchids here are all pretty poisonous. Only one species, with a single blue flower and pointed leaves, doesn't kill you the moment you touch it. I don't even want to know what kind of dangerous animals they have here. Okay, so an orchid with a single blue, uh, was it petal? And and they all uh, point upwards. Okay. So that's what we need to find. I doubt I doubt that I doubt that there's one over here. And there wasn't any uh, there wasn't any orchids inside the cave. But let's check out here again. Hmm. Oh, hey, another stone slab. Okay. So we so we were missing one, and there's a. Bush here. Maybe those guys threw the joke book in here. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh hey, there it is. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about the joke book. That must be Lewis's joke book. Okay, so we can take that back to him. But before we do that, let's bring this stone slab here. There we go. I was the wondering. Stone disc fits on there perfectly. Now it looks like all the discs are in place. Okay, so now we know that. I was wondering if there was one stone disc missing there. Okay, so can we use it now? Oh my. Okay, so... Hmm, different symbols and then heads and then uh, hand gestures. Uh, I think I know what we're supposed to do here. Let's see which one of these, which one of which one of these ugly things would have horns. Maybe. Hmm? Wait, how does this work? Oh, there we go. Well, uh, hmm. Wait, no. Actually, maybe this goes here. Actually. Uh, never, ne never mind. We can't quite align this horn with any of these heads for some reason. Oh, we, ha we have to do it like this too. Uh, hmm. And what is this creature exactly? Is is this is this an like an ant maybe? Ants would have something like antennas maybe, like this. But, hmm, then we have this. Okay, at, uh, at first I was like, okay, I think I know what, what I'm supposed to do here, but now I'm not so sure anymore. Now I am not so sure. Let's just leave for now. Okay, we, th we think about that later, but now uh, let's just, let's go back to the hotel. Now let's go and bring the joke book back. And maybe we should tell Nora that we have found Dora. Uh, it was, he was here, yeah. Okay, here's your joke book. Here's your joke book. Ah, here it is. Finally, some quality humor from the old days. 
There's even an appendix in the back that lists who you can insult with which joke. <laughs> yeah, you can have this role-playing bullshit now. Okay, why well, thanks. Thanks. So everyone, welcome to my show. Everything's good to go now. I have my tried and true repertoire of jokes again. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to all the fringe groups I might offend. Like women. <laughs> This is now a safe space for tasteless humor, people. Here we still make jokes like in the old days. No one here has to apologize for their humor. Everything still goes here. You can get naked in front of people and... Uh, okay, maybe not everything. All right, hold on to your hats. Okay, let's hear them. A blonde crashes a helicopter. The investigating officer asks her, why? She says, it got cold in here, so I turned off the fan. <laughs> <laughs> A typical, typical blonde joke. Why do older blondes park even worse than young blondes? Because hearing gets worse with age. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that, right? Oh yeah, the blondes, but hey. Let me try some different material. Yeah, please. You can't just make fun of blondes all the time. After all, we also have the foreigners. <laughs> oh, oh God. Yeah, go on. What do you call a foreigner who owns their own home? Oh, my. Adopted. <laughs> okay, that was... That was that was kind of t uh, tasteless. A tasteless joke. Two well. foreigners are sitting in a car. Who's the driver? A cop. <laughs> nah, that wasn't really uh, funny, my man. I'm gonna give you one last chance. One last chance. Give us a good joke. How do you stop a foreign army tank? You shoot the guy pushing it. <laughs> okay, I think we have heard enough. I like the blonde ones better. The blonde jokes, that is. Okay, but now, so let's go and pay a quick visit to uh, Nora. Okay, so we found your sis. Hmm, we don't have the option to say that to her. Okay. After run. Okay, never mind that. Never mind that. Oh, let's take a look at the... What was it? Role-playing Game Master Manual or whatever it is. Game Master Guide. It's got all sorts of stuff in here about spaceships, aliens, dragons, vampires and weird stuff. Hmm, okay. So so it has information about uh, both uh, medieval-like, fantasy-like like Dungeons and Dragons, but also sci-fi stuff like Star Trek or whatever. Okay, so let's see. So we have got quite a few new items. We got a pl we got pliers, luminous mushroom, fruit rings, candles, permanent marker, and a master and a game master guide. And and the only thing uh, the game master guide is the only one that I know what to do with. We just uh, we just bring this book to the LARPers. So yeah, let's just let's do that. Oh, I can just do it like this. Okay. Okay, so we just. Give them the Game Master Guide. I better keep that with me. Oh, or do we just talk to them? Hmm. Yeah, I could be a Game Master. Hey, I could be your Game Master! Who? You? You don't look the type. You have no idea just how much imagination I really have. <laughs> uh, you just have to have enough for each of us here. Of course. But we also want to play in a location that's just perfect for us. What do you have in mind? Uh, we want to be heroes and tackle deadly traps. Yeah, yeah. The more dangerous, the better. You know anywhere like that? Mm, okay, so we have to find the perfect location first. I have to find the perfect location for the lock first. Well... Yeah, I forgot about that. I have to get going. Okay, so we need something for this device. Some Something for that device. Let's see. Will the 
Will this bottle do? Hmm. Okay. Plastic cup. That's fine. That won't help. Ms. Wingle's book. That's the information he collected, and he drew penises all around the edges. Okay. Hmm, okay. So we have to so we just have to find the the right orchid, the right flower. It's not these two, is it? It's not that one either, no, it's entirely blue. Now let's uh, double check. It was this. An information here is some boring fat lots of nice photos. It's a rare, highly bioluminescent fungus which greatly reduces it seems the orchids here are all pretty poisonous. Only one species with a single blue flower and pointed leaves doesn't kill you the moment you touch it. I don't even want to know. Ah, okay, single blue a single blue flower, not a single blue uh, petal. Okay. Or maybe this is the one that we need. Ah, uh, never mind, it's not. I knew it. Sorry, Larry. So we did reach our third death in one episode. But luckily someone keeps cloning La Larry, so we are good. Okay, so... Single blue flower and pointed leaves. I mean, didn't we click this uh, earlier? Uh, earlier, uh, earlier here. Didn't we do this, or was it somewhere around here? That must be the non-toxic. Ah, okay, the that's the one. Wants. Are you sure? Only one way to find out. Hey, there we go. You know, uh, I think I'm still alive. Good thing. Yeah, good thing. Okay. There we go. Here's your flower. Hey, I brought you the only non-toxic orchid in the archipelago. Oh, wow, that's it. Maybe I misjudged you. You do have some botanical expertise. Has there been any change in the giant orchid? No, nothing at all. I'm not sure. Something's still missing. Larry, I've been going over the Marquis's notes from Swingle's file. And? He wrote in his diary, I have discovered a most unusual plant. Its scent is bewitching and its appearance is alluring. But the orchid is a harsh mistress. It requires a great deal of attention. Three things are needed to make it blossom. It can only grow if it is fertilized with poisonous bog water, like a fair lady. The orchid must be beguiled with words. The ethereal okay. sound of classical music touches not only the hearts of men, but also that of this plant. How does your Python know all this? I taught it well. Did <laughs> not. So, uh, plenty to do. Oh my, so it's... So we have to do plenty more than just... Uh, then just, you know, bang her before this flower. Because I think I read from somewhere that, that in order to make this, uh, in, in order to make the vagina dentata blossom, you would basically have to have sex before it. That's what I read at some point, somewhere. I think there was a, I think there, I think there was a painting or something of this flower in Bobby's office, and that's where I read it from. Okay, but it's not that simple, apparently. Okay, but I'm gonna end this episode here, and in the next episode, well, let's try to work on getting this vagina dentata to blossom. And we did, we did I write it all down here, right? Let's see. Um, where is it? To get the orchid to bloom, it must be watered with poisonous bog water. To get the orchid to bloom, it must be beguiled with words. It must hear the, uh, it must hear the dulcet tones of classical music. Okay, so we need to do these three things before we can make, make it blossom. Okay, so let's try to do uh, all, all of these three things in the next episode. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Laser Suit Larry. Wet dreams dry twice.